Good morning, Mill Creek Township family, and welcome to yet another edition of the Roberts Recap. As a reminder, this is where we bring you three of the salient agenda items from our most recent board meetings, just in case you missed it. We want to start with a celebration. The first agenda item that I want to share with you is about student success. Under the tutelage of our AP teacher, Rob Hudson, and all of our other teachers at McDowell High School and MIHS who teach AP, we know that our AP students are doing very well and they are ranked nationally. Today's celebration is about Christopher Zhao. Christopher is a senior who scored perfectly on his AP research exam. Chris is only one of 306 students in the world, which is about 1.14% of students who scored perfectly on the AP research. This is exciting. The second agenda item that I want to share with you relates to our continued investment in improving our teacher, staff, and leader practice. Our relentless focus on professional development is unquestionable. In December, we are going to send five individuals, one of them a teacher and four leaders to Nashville, Tennessee to participate in a nationally recognized conference around professional development. The goal is for them to bring back to us strategies, practices, and other protocols that would allow us to refine how we are offering professional development to all of our teachers and staff. We value the folks who work for us and serve children every day. The third agenda item is a presentation made by our chief financial officer, where he talked about our current financial position. One of the items that was shared is the fact that last year we operated at a $2.5 million deficit. But here's what is important to know. Because of our contribution of over $6 million to the Erie County Technical Schools renovation project, we would have operated at about a $3.5 million surplus should you extract that from the amount. Our financial position is one that is considered relatively healthy. 75% of our expenditures goes towards teachers, leaders, and staff, benefits, and salaries. 65% of our expenditure and our, of our revenue, I should say, comes from local contributions, with 55% of that amount, the total amount, coming from real estate taxes, the importance of having that in place. 64% of our revenue was spent directly on students in terms of instruction and to improve student academic achievement. Why is this important? Because when we look at our data and our spending practices from 2020, we are for, ranked number 456 out of 500 districts in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania that are focused on spending on student achievement and instruction. So a 64% spending plan speaks of our investment on students. Thank you for this edition of the Roberts Recap. We will see you next time.